Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Got another gym video for you guys. This one's gonna be about my basic arms and shoulders workouts. So, my shoulders are definitely an area that I've been wanting to build up for a long time. And this offseason, I feel like I'm making some progress. They're definitely still taking their sweet time to grow. But uh, this is the workout, pretty much, that I've been doing to try to get there. Now, as is often the case, if you guys have watched my gym videos before, this workout set, or this whole workout actually, will probably be familiar to you. It's one that I've used and enjoyed for a long, long time. And I start off my workout by doing uh, like a three, three exercise superset of overhead press with dumbbells, and then I do, I've been doing alternating dumbbell curls. Sometimes I'll do them supinated, sometimes I'll do them more hammer curl, and then I'll finish it off with some lateral raises. And the reason I like this superset is because I start off with the sort of heavier compound movement of the overhead press or the military press with the dumbbells, and then I'll let my shoulders recover a little bit while still training my biceps because this is my arm day as well. Then I go right into the lateral raises, which is going to target my shoulder in a slightly different area, even though it's, it's recovered a little bit by that point. But I'm also focusing a little bit more on the mid to rear delt part of my shoulder. And then, of course, come back to the overhead press, which focuses a little bit more on the front and a little bit even of my upper chest. But I, I feel okay with that being the case. My upper chest needs the work, and the way I'm doing these presses right now is it's less about, you know, super controlled time under tension movements, and I'm allowing myself to use whatever strength I've got to move some weight around. I'm definitely trying to still use good form. I'm just not hyper isolating at this point. I'm, I'm allowing my strength to shine through and to, uh, you know, use some of the power that I've got during this steady, clean bulking phase that I'm on during the off season. And in terms of like sets and reps that I'm doing on my shoulder days, I'm pretty much just doing a billion sets and increasing the weight steadily as I go. You know, I'll, I'll get warmed up and I'll work with some weights that I feel good, and then as soon as I feel, you know, like I've got that weight pretty much under control, I'll push it up a little bit. I don't usually go a whole lot higher than uh, 70 pounds in terms of the overhead pressing. I feel pretty comfortable going to 75 or 80 pounds, but not necessarily every day. And I do prefer to do these standing now. I've done them seated before, but for whatever reason, I'm really enjoying making use of my balance and making use of my whole body. Not necessarily just like, you know, jumping them up there with my legs, but, you know, using stabilizer muscles and stuff like that um, to get that weight up there. And that feels good to me, so I've been enjoying that recently, but that also makes it so I don't do quite as much weight, but I'm working up there. And keep in mind, when I'm talking about the weight that I'm lifting, that's much less important than you making sure that you are lifting the weight that is the right resistance for you, the right effort level for you, because some of you guys might be getting started and you're not quite as strong, or some of you guys might be way stronger than me. So if you're doing as much weight as I'm doing and it's too easy for you, then you're gimping yourself. So make sure that you guys are getting um, weights that's appropriately difficult for you. And that's kind of why I like to focus on more of like, for this difficulty of weight, I'm doing this many reps. So to put that in perspective for you, I generally start off by doing, you know, 15 to 12 reps of my warm-up weight and I get progressively uh, more weight and less reps as I go. Now I'm a little bit careful with my shoulders so I don't usually uh, go up to a weight that I can't do like less than five or six reps with. For that, I, I do that for squats and for bench press and maybe even deadlifts, um, but for my shoulders I don't, I don't need to go that high in weight. Um, but I definitely recommend that you guys work within a rep range that feels comfortable to you with the weight that you're using. For big compound movements where I'm trying to build muscle, I feel like I probably get the most out of like a 6 to 10 rep range with moderately difficult weight. I mean, obviously, as you get to 6 reps, it's going to be more difficult. But for isolation movements like this, I like to do, you know, 12 reps, even up to 20 reps. Obviously, for 20, you're not going to be having the highest weight. But I prefer not to put super huge weight on isolation movements. Um, for me, it's easy for my joints to get dinged up if I start to put on like crazy weight for isolation movements, but I also feel like the, the moderate rep range with moderate weight ends up helping me uh, build the most muscle. I mean, getting stronger is definitely a goal, but for me, I kind of want to grow. I want to I, I want to achieve progress in that realm rather than um, achieving strength, at this point at least. People ask me if I ever, ever do powerlifting. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe, but right now I'm definitely enjoying the bodybuilding style a little bit more. And uh, things are going well. That's going to wrap up my arms and shoulder workout for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to show us some love, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!